Hey everyone, I'm Lauren Stone with Toy Wizards, that's toy-wizards.com, and I'm back for another spontaneous toy review. And today's items were brought to us by The Loyal Subjects, so big thank you to The Loyal Subjects for kicking us down with some samples to check out together. So, what are we looking at today? Two action figures from the best action line from Loyal Subjects. So we have Gandalf and we have Slash. So I'm excited to crack these open and look at them with you. Loyal Subjects Best Action Line is a really cool new toy line in the five and a half inch scale, if I'm not mistaken, five to five and a half inches. It is a $20 toy line, so the action figures, again, only cost $20, so similar with like the Hasbro stuff, um, Marvel Legends, Black Series, G.I. Joe Classified, etc. Except they're a little bit smaller, same price range, different licenses. So what we have from Best Action is some music licenses, some movie licenses, some anime licenses, so that's really, really cool. Scott reviewed some of the anime figures. I will link that video in the description. And I reviewed Gene Simmons from Kiss. He's my dude. Uh, I love this toy. I reviewed it. I really, really enjoyed it. The only thing I had trouble with when I did my review was his wings wouldn't stay on. And as you can see, they're still not on. I keep this dude with my stuff. He's posed on my shelf. Um, but I, I couldn't with the wings. They didn't stay on. So... Here we are. This is Gene Simmons from Destroyer. We had discussed the articulation. Nice and tight, but not breakable tight. This is a great toy. And I really enjoyed the likeness of, you know, Gene Simmons. I think when something is a monster or a mask or a costume, I really think it's easier to nail the likeness than a character from a movie or a human you'll see um yeah we're gonna take the slash out of the box together and at first glance not gonna lie homeboy looks like michael jackson so here's the back of the box like absolute glamour shot here comes with two hands and a guitar side of the box very beautiful for displaying this is really nice graphic design but it does beg the question of for $20, what do we expect from the sculpt? I mean, think about the Power Ranger Lightning Collection from Hasbro. I don't think many of those faces look anything like their actors. I mean, they don't. They don't, they don't, they don't. So with the helmet on, we look great. And then with the helmet off, I'm like, who are these people supposed to be? It's just difficult for human likeness. So with something, you know, like Gene Simmons from Kiss, it's easy to nail that because as a character, but then when we come down to like actual slash, um, it's a little more difficult. Let's open the box. Yeah, dude, this looks like my, a rock and roll Michael Jackson. Um, I'm not seeing any resemblance to slash, and that makes me sad because I don't like to be disrespectful or accidentally rude, um, especially when something, you know, was, a company was kind enough to send samples. But, you know, I just have to be direct. Rock and roll Michael Jackson, for sure, is what we have going on here. We have two sets of hands. We have this one, it's like holding the pick. I do like that the hands hold the pick. Also, Gene Simmons is holding his pick. I like the jewelry. We have a couple of Slash's tattoos, but, you know, it stops at the upper arm. We don't have the forearm tattoos or sleeves. I do like the accessories on him, the hat, they nailed it. It's just the face. I just wouldn't recognize this as Slash, but going back to the toy... Oops. You saw that happen. Okay. Um, going back to the toy itself, we have the articulation on the foot, on the knee. This one's actually much looser than the Gene Simmons, probably because Gene is so bulky. <laughs> <laughs> you know, we got those Israeli thighs, what can we say? But yeah, good articulation, um, the head, it does not move. Uh, probably because of Slash's hair, which is like stuck, um, it just doesn't, the head doesn't move. So, but we have that little bit of torso articulation right there. Elbow, shoulder, the wrists again, the hands come off. If you want to exchange the hands out, so we have these little peg hands. And here is the guitar with the strap that fits over his head. 
It's really difficult for me in any toys that come with, I've said this before, any music toys that come with their guitar or their bass, um, I always find it a little hard. Um, the leg keeps breaking off on this one. I don't know, Slash. But luckily it pops right back on. And he also has his, like, handkerchief belt accessory on the waist. Let's check out Gandalf and maybe I'll have more opinions on Slash. Michael Slashson, can I call him that? Is that, is that in bad taste? Alright, and Gandalf from Lord of the Rings. So we have, like, this glamour shot of the toy. 22 points of articulation. We have, like, swoony swagger Gandalf on the front. And then we have, like, goofy Gandalf on the side. So there's a lot going on on this box. There was a sticker on the bottom already removed. What did I get here? Gosh, what happened? We have our map. I can already tell you. Okay, just taking them out of the box. That a little extra paint would have been nice. But this one is definitely much better. There we go. This one's much better. I would have loved to see, again, a little bit more paint, but we have the beautiful folded fabric of his cape. We have really nice folded fabric in, the, in his cloak and all over the clothes, which I'm always talking about folded fabric, and I really like that. He has the same articulation, but because his he has these thick robes, um, he doesn't move quite as much. That's just the nature of the character. I like this satchel accessory right there. I love the wizard robe, the, the yeah, wizard sleeves. You know, you know. I love the wizard sleeves and the, uh, fl the flowiness of that. This is a much nicer toy than Slash. We have an extra set of hands. So we have open hands. We have closed hands that he has that he's wearing right now. We have our stick, which also has a wizard's cane or wizard stick, which also has a little bit of paint on the top, so I like that. He has his hat that would fall off if you're playing with him, but if you're just posing him it'll stay on. Like he's on your shelf, it'll stay on. At this price point, you can, in my opinion, choose whether this is a toy or a collectible. You can always choose if it's a toy or a collectible. It's your business. Like nobody's ever gonna stop you from doing whatever you want with your collection. Try as some people might. So many opinions online. Try as some people might. At the end of, the, at the end of it, nobody can stop you from doing whatever you want with your collection. But I think at $20, put his sword in the sheath. That looks cool. That looks way cool. You wild wizard you. At $20, again, you can give this to a kid who's a big fan and it's, you know, a very well detailed wizard for their games or it's a starting point collectible that can be displayed on a shelf. This toy is very nice. I really, again, I like the sword, I like the sheath, I like the satchel, the hat, the two hands, and the detailed stick. Very, very nice. Much better value, much better likeness, much better everything in happening here in Gandalf than what was happening in Slash. Um, and again, because Lord of the Rings is a movie and appeals to all ages, and Slash is a guitarist from a band that broke up a billion years ago, it's interesting to see who's like, oh my god, I loved Guns N' Roses, you know, I need Slash. You know, similarly with Gene Simmons, like, I love Kiss, but to me that's like a character. Kids love Kiss too. Kids love Gene Simmons, and they always have. Um, it's interesting how it just has that multi-generational appeal. So if you like carry in my head, character, character, person, and not a very good likeness of a person. So, you know, that's what we have going on there. But uh, overall, I like the best action line. I think they have such a cool variety of licenses. I think the likeness and the articulation 
and just and what you get like the accessories that you get for the value I think are really spot on and so I think it's a toy line that many people enjoy and more people should have their eyes on because there's seriously some cool stuff happening here and that's all I got for you guys today I'm Lauren Stone with Toy Wizards that's toy-wizards.com visit our site daily for toy news reviews articles listicles snarkticles editorials opinion pieces and we will catch you for the next one so be good be safe have fun and keep collecting Bye.